rust is back over my shoulder there somewhere in the woods and we're back at a site that has produced some really old stuff in the past I got a uh, target here that I thought was gonna be just a big old chunk of iron but getting it out of the hole turns out look at that the padlock there's the brass keyhole cover where the key would go so yeah that's a super nice old find that'll clean up nice okay so if you look right here there is some brass showing itself through the plug here Get the leaf out of the way I have no idea what it is let's break it open here and see if we can figure out what it is ah sweet it's like a little brass sash buckle Holy cow, that's cool. Alrighty. So, I want to show you something, not really metal detecting related, but I guess you could say history related. It's kind of cool when you get out deep in the woods like we are at these old sites and to see some of the things that, uh, well, you don't normally see. And what um, I'm looking at here is probably the largest, maybe oldest cedar tree I think I've ever seen. It keeps going and going. And I mean, for here, I mean, a cedar tree that gets more than about 15 or 20 feet, that's doing good. That's my machine and shovel at the base of it, if you can see that. So just to give you a frame of reference of how big this thing is. Let's walk down here to it. If I don't fall and break my neck in the process. Like I said, that's a cedar tree. And for upstate South Carolina, she's a monster. So, uh, yeah, it's a big one. Got a really good target. It was like 79.80 on the uh, on the T2, and I kept, you know, digging around. I kept, you know, checking, and the target was still there, and I'd move stuff around, and it was still there, but it was moving, and I never could find it. And finally, I pick up this root. See this root right here? Look right there. Let's see if I can get it to, to focus. Yeah. Right there, there is a, looks like a brass wedding band with the root growing through it. Is that not crazy? And we know it's old because this site, we've been picking up blue rim and feather edge and black glass and dug some flat buttons. And that's pretty cool.